I started taking resveratrol in my early 30s. So, yeah, I'm now 52. Um, and I don't regret it at all. At the time, it wasn't known if it would do anything. All we had was yeast cells living longer, and then we showed worms and flies, and it was really early days. But I took it anyway, um, figuring if it doesn't hurt me, you know, it's it's not really a, a risk. Uh, but I really am glad that I have done that because I, I, I do believe that my health internally and externally and how I look is partly due to that. So I've been taking a gram of resveratrol for all those years, over a decade. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it turns on the waste defenses. Yeah. Um, I also take uh, NMN, which I've talked about before, which raises mm-hmm. NAD levels, just like vitamin B3, but even better. Mm-hmm. And that, I think, is, is important. NMN is, is interesting because we've shown in animal studies, uh, and, um, and we're working on human studies now, uh, increases blood flow in muscle, okay. for sure, in the brain. Or also, I, I believe it would work in the skin as well. So I think that blood flow is very important for the skin. Actually, we know it is. And even the hair, the mm-hmm. lack of blood flow of hair is partly what leads to hair loss. And so mm-hmm. that's one of my, my tips. Yeah, I also wanted to mention that PRP is platelet-rich plasma. Uh, and it's filled with lots of goodies, uh, exosomes. It's filled with peptides that are coming out of those cells. Um, mm-hmm. all, all the good things. And you can use it on your skin and on your hair. So one thing that's, that somebody asked about is senolytics, procetin. Some people call it physetin, which is a senolytic. So these are natural molecules that kill or at least uh, help to kill senescent cells. These are the zombie cells that accumulate in all of our tissues uh, and also in the skin. We can see them actually build up um, in the around the hair follicle and in the sebaceous gland. And they're really bad. They cause inflammation. They cause aging. So you can, you can take senolytics. And uh, somebody mentioned earlier, Jim Kirkland, who's a colleague and friend of mine, he's been running clinical trials on these molecules with mm-hmm. some really promising results. And so I, I've been trying these out on myself as I'd like to be a guinea pig. And I, I went through a course of uh, senolysis, okay. senolytics, um, about uh, about nine months ago. Mm-hmm. And I, I did it with um, quercetin and physetin. Mm-hmm. And what I found was uh, it was really quite remarkable. In my own experience, I did it for a month um, and I, I took um, both those compounds every morning mixed with my yogurt and my resveratrol. I actually found that my skin looked a lot better after that month and people actually noticed it. These are not scientific studies, of course, but, but you can try them. There, there doesn't seem to be any downside to doing it. You can actually, here's a tip, you can go online and go to clinical trials dot gov clinicaltrials.gov and look up james kirkland and look up physetin f-i-s-e-t-i-n get a pen write this down and mm-hmm. or write in senolytic mm-hmm. and you'll see the protocol for his clinical trials okay and you can if you want talk to your doctor if you and i recommend you do because anything that's a major change with supplements could harm you especially if you're taking other medicines and supplements but you can look at what he does and get get a guide as to what might work for you.